and professor told us that you are the person who is going to tell us how about this every student then <coughs> waited for the answer but that old sage was surprised he said i am afraid you have come to the wrong address replied the old man he he was surprised that why why should i be approached for something which i have never experienced i am 73 years old and in all these years i have never had to face any difficulty the lord has always been good to me and protected me in his mercy how can i teach you how to smile in the midst of difficulties the students were stunned the student who looked at the old sage without leg with full of mercy feeling very sorry for his condition he i mean they could not understand how this person is saying he does not have any worries he does not have any problem on probing further the sage revealed the secret He quoted Lord Krishna instructions to Arjuna in the battlefield of Kurukshetra where Lord Krishna says O son of Kunti the non permanent appearance of happiness and distress and their disappearance in due course are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons they arise from sense perception and one mu- one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed but hearing that and implementing that in life are two different things swami ji swami sadguru sadafal dev ji maharaj reveals the the practical technique to get into that stage where you really wear smile in the midst of sukha and dukha whatever be changes in your external ambience your smile from face is not going to go away swami ji says we spend days months and years to finally realize a single moment of success but did we ever notice how does the happiness evolve does it, does it come from outside or you feel it flowering from within swami ji says it is always there inside it is just that we need to learn the technique to keep it ignited all moment of success are nothing but the ignition to flower the happiness which is there inside but how to sustain that why does it get disturbed swami ji says in survey the root of sorrow is the karma performed in ignorance it is ignorance that causes to go for sensual gratifications with ephemeral subjects and later end up with sorrow for change in the subject the subject that is not eternal if you attach yourself to that for deriving the happiness for sukha for experiencing the the blissful moment they are definitely going to die down one day why because the subject itself is not eternal in nature at the same time the source of joy is the awareness of the truth disciplined life good deeds dharma and purusharth in very short doha swami ji describes both swami ji says manava uttam deh ko pakar lakshan jaan heen mukhya udesh se so dukh jeevan man this human life 
is meant for achieving a very special target in the life that is achieving ananda achieving bliss achieving union with god until and unless you align your life you move your life towards achieving this very aim of life it is very difficult to remain blissful in all steps in the life at the same time sadguru says that in the path of achieving union with god every moment is full of bliss he describes that in swarved sadguru niyama vivek me chalna so sukh jaan arat deen adheen hai maha sukhi jagman he does not deny the fact that we need to grow in life rather he motivates you grow as much as you can in life but at the same time don't attach yourself to the loss and gain in the life they are definitely your dharma you must perform with full of efficiency whatever you can but know the truth that they are just your dharma and you have to do that not the source of bliss it should be every moment routine to keep yourself detached from the loss and gain and always try to move your consciousness inward don't have attachment to these external subjects but develop the sense of bhakti prem and attribute of likings towards satsang spirituality purushad dharma daya truth these are the attributes which bring happiness and joy at every walk of life बोले सदगुरुदेव की जय ओ